hi everyone welcome back again to my channel i hope you are well and doing good so this evening um, we are going to be looking through um, phd scholarships uh, this is the one with university of leicester and as you can see they are going to be pushing out about 100 phd scholarships this one is um with the College of um, Sciences and Engineering, but they have quite uh, a few around everywhere, really, literally different colleges. And they are investing about nine million pounds in sponsoring PhD scholarship. Now, the thing um, about this is that it's actually open to international students with certain condition. So um, this is the page, and I'm going to put the link um, of this on, under the description for this video for you to look at this more in depth so you could see what um, might interest you in all of this. However, this is what I want to show you. So the studentship is going to be provided for about three and a half years and the tuition fee, however, this is the one that is more important. The tuition fee is going to be at UK rate. So that means, and they have stated it clearly here, that that means if this uk rate is um about four thousand five seven hundred pounds so roughly five thousand pounds so you would have to pay the difference for international student the um rate is about twenty one thousand pounds um so in the end you're going to be paying about sixteen thousand pounds as difference however you're going to be this you will pay them um the university because of the difference in fee However, you're going to be paid, they are going to pay you its monthly uh, monthly stipend, it's going to be monthly for um, a year, every year about £15,600, so is what they are going to be paying you. And they are also going to give you a um, research grant, um, training grant for about £1,500 in addition to that. So all in all, if you look at this um, 15000 and this 1500 honestly, it's really going to just cover your, oh, and they are also going to give you bench fee as well of five thousand pounds as well so it's really going to cover the sixteen thousand that you pay for them so uh, to them so in in all in all it just seemed like you'll be getting a free phd um without paying them but they also wouldn't be paying you because what they pay you you used to pay them i don't know if that makes some sense so all i'm saying is this is still a good um scholarship Op option and i would encourage you to have a look and don't be discouraged about the fact that you have to pay difference in terms of the international and uk rate because they are going to pay you that money anyway all you have to do is just use that money to pay them and you can sort yourself um when it comes to just managing yourself throughout your phd doing one or two pattern things i did it and i'm sure so many other people did it you just do one or two parts and sometimes this scholarship they actually give you opportunity to um teach as well so you might be teaching assistant while you're doing this and that would pay you for those you know small stipends for you to get on with your program so anyway this is the funding um i'm going to put the link like i said it's not just engineering there's quite a lot that they are doing um you can see it's open to social sciences so if you're in social sciences um this is also open to you um you can have a look and consider if i click on show more um, you could see the courses, they are English. So if you study English, history, uh, modern languages, criminology, history, uh, politics, international relation, law, media, communication, just massive, you know. Um, and you can see here, that some of these projects already have um, supervisors. And so you could just apply to them. And hopefully you would be one of those that will be picked for this option. Now for this one, the fee is actually lower because um, this is arts. So here, humanities and social science. So here the international fee rate is 15,000. And so the difference that you actually pay them is about 11,000. And remember you will be paid 15,000 here and also 1,005 here. So that's about, you still have some spare change actually um, if you are in the art and the humanity department or faculty so and there are so many others like that um so i'm just going to encourage you to have a look see what fits into your 
um, research field or research area and just apply and who knows, we might be seeing you in the UK soon. All right, so um, this is just what I want to share with us as international students. There are different fundings and I will try and keep bringing this to our front decks. As